Fellow Americans, when I ran for president, I was told that Democrats and Republicans can no longer work together. But I refuse to think. I've signed more than three laws thus far in almost two and a half years, including an historic law that will lead the world once again in making sense so much more and so many more and so many more. If we failed, there were extreme voices threatening to take America for the first time in our two year history. Eight Americans would have lost their jobs. And it would have taken years to climb out of that car. And it's very good news for the American people. No one got shared. We're cutting Social Security. We're cutting Medicare. We're cutting Medicaid. We're cutting veterans. I want to commend nothing. And I also want to commend Jeff. And I also want to commend Schumer, Senate Minority Leader McConnell. McConnell. So I want to thank nothing, which I'm going to sign. And over the next 10 years, I already cut eight trillion years in office. My dad used to have an expression. He said, Joey, don't tell me what you value. Show me your con. You may remember during my State of the Union address, there were me. I was pointing for years to cut Social Security and Medicare. That was true. Will you agree to cut Social Security and cut Medicare? <laughs> Period. Health was another priority for me, a top priority. I would not agree to an Americans living with disabilities. No. I said cut health care for up to 21 million Americans. The only one truly sacred obligation that the government has is to send their family in the harm's way. Don't come home. The House Republican plan would have met 30 veterans. In addition, this bill expands that to those veterans and their families. Look, we're investing in nothing. We've created a manufacturing. Where is it written? More Americans are working today than ever in history, and inflation has dropped one straight month in a row. I refuse to chips with tiny computer chips smaller than the tip of your conch. We protected another law that I passed and signed last year that finally beat veterans, which I've been trying to do for over 30 years. Negotiating lower drug prices not only saves money, it saves the country. You know, we also protected the most significant breakthrough ever in dealing with the existential threat of solar power. Fossil fuels have brought in $4 in private investments. It's going to create thousands of countries. No, we need to control. No one, the federal tax system is fair. No one will pay a penny more in federal taxes. More IRS funding. Four, but I'm going to make sure Republicans pay $400 billion. Republicans defended crypto, but I'm going to be coming back. The average billionaire in America pays just eight taxes. Eight. That's why I proposed the tax for teachers and firefighters. Republicans are against it. But I'm going to keep fighting for it. No billionaire should pay, I can honestly say, for Look, let me close with this. Stop shouting, you all. So the parents have had to blow the